Good morning. A powerful pro-vaccination sign has struck a chord with mothers around the world. Sunni Mariah was at her doctor's office in Colorado in the US when she saw the sign and posted a photo of it onto Facebook. Within a few days, the post was shared more than 160,000 times and sent anti-vaxxers into a fury. Now, it was penned by Australian intensive care specialist Dr Rachel Heap two years ago, and the sign reads, when your daughter gets rubella when pregnant, how are you going to explain that you chose to leave her at risk? What do you tell your son when he breaks the news to you that he can't have kids, thanks to a mumps that he got as a teenager? And Dr Rachel Heap joins us now from the New South Wales North Coast. Good morning to you, Rachel. Thanks so much for being with us. This must have come as a huge shock that something that you wrote two years ago could all of a sudden now go viral. Absolutely. I, I wrote it two years ago. I never expected that in now I'd be standing talking to you on breakfast television. And why did you write it? Why, why were you inspired to do this? Um, I was actually tired and emotional and frustrated. I'd come off a pretty rough run at work looking after people suffering from stuff that should have been avoidable. And when I was listening to the conversations we were having about vaccination, it seemed that something was missing, and that was the voices of the kids. Those kids have no choice. And if children are left vulnerable to preventable disease and they contract those diseases, and the impact, the injury from those diseases, that can last, that can have a lifelong impact on them. And it seemed that somebody needed to speak up for them. Mm. And Doctor, we know that vaccines are the safest and most effective way to protect from disease. Why is it, do you think, that some parents still go down the path of not vaccinating their children? Well, in our region particularly, which I love, I love my home region, um, but the vaccination rates around here are, are lower than that in South Sudan, which is a statistic that's pretty horrific. Um, but there's a, there's a cultural dialogue, a, a narrative, a conversation that goes around that's saying that if it's natural, it must be good, and there's a concern or a worry about mainstream preventative medicine. Well, I'd say that I've seen tetanus, and it is completely natural, and there is nothing good about that. What is your message to parents that choose not to vaccinate their kids, given what you've seen? Um, I'd say to anybody out there who's got questions or concerns about vaccines um, or questions about vaccine preventable diseases, please talk to the experts about that. Make an appointment with your GP. Talk to your practice nurse. There is so much misinformation on the internet um, if you're going to look on, if you're going to look online, maybe look at Google Scholar, not Google. And if you type in the word immunisation rather than vaccination, then you might be more likely to find a credible source. Yeah, because these are parents that we just don't not love their kids. They want what is best for their kids. Absolutely. Parents only want what is best for their kids and they think they're making informed decisions. We understand that. But you can only make an informed decision if it's based on good data, on good information. Mm. And there's so much misinformation and lies out there that, that we just trying to help people understand what the truth is. And it can be confusing. Sometimes it is difficult to know what is credible and what isn't. But a good idea to put in that Google Scholar. Uh, Dr Rachel Heap, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you very much for your time today.